What's up guys and welcome back to another episode where we are going to try to pretty much finish the Patania tab off today. Uh, well, we're going to try. The, the Terra Steel is probably going to be the hardest, but that's fine. But I want to try to finish some, some of this stuff because it's pretty super easy. And uh, maybe figure out a way to make... Um, Tanya better like make tons of mana and the only thing I think of is maybe just make some already's endo flames they are not the most effective but I have already at 375 coal honeycombs which is a lot of uh, stuff what am I doing I was supposed to chuck this into do I have the yeah I just don't have the endo pearls That, maybe. There we go. Yeah, because we only get half back. That's right, that's right. So I did a boop. There we go. So yeah, nothing too special today. Um, hopefully you have a great day ahead of y'all. I know I'm going to be so busy. So we're going to make some pants. We're gonna make some of this and the helmet. That should finish all those off. Perfect. These are probably the easiest thing. And I'll tell you one thing. I I kind of like the elementium armor a little bit better than Terra Steel. Terra Steel gives you more protection, but the elementium I believe is a little bit better than Mana Steel, which Mana Steel is probably on par with iron. But you get a little fairy if you have the full suit. You get a little fairy that can come out and attack, which is kind of cool in my book. So we got that. Uh, next thing we need to work on is this dude. Now this dude's going to be super expensive. Because I don't have many mana pearls. Ender pearls. Oh, we need to chuck you in here. And then chuck you in here. And then this should give us the rod of biofrost. Which I don't remember exactly what that thing does. <laughs> I know we can craft with it now. So if we take some glass. Oh, elf glass, my mistake. Cool. And then this gives us this. And this glass is pretty cool. I never used it before, but it is actually pretty cool. It changes colors. And I want to say it gives off light, too. Okay. Perfect. And I don't know the benefits of the fabulous map pool. Fabulous. Pool. Why is it bringing that up? Mana pool, mana tablet, mana pool. Uh, regarding nearby mana pool, mana pools can be blah blah blah. blah, blah. I don't know why you would want that one. One of the forest, the boom, boom. Ingots, yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't even see it. I have no clue why you want to make it. 
Oh, maybe it, maybe it is on the right. Let's right up Biofrost. Biofrost will store as much as a normal one. So why make it just because it ch changes colors? It's kind of a weird thing to make me have to craft. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we can make that too. I'm actually kind of glad I made all this extra stuff. This will actually help us set up uh, automation of stuff. So as you can see, bam! This thing's cool. Because... Um... I might set all that up over here, to be honest with you. So if we do... On center to there... And let's make a, another mana pool. And we'll also grab the tablet, because that's how we're going to transfer it. Cool, cool. Alrighty. What is it all we need for this? This is super easy, too. Actually, I might do that now before I forget. Actually, so we need four in the pearls. We have two, so maybe we only have to craft one. Hopefully, we need. We're going to need four. Okay, you're completely dead now. So I'm gonna have to kill some more endermen soon, somehow. This should allow us uh, to craft you, and then we should be able to craft you. Yeah, okay, we only have to make one. We do need to make three more to make the Gaia summoning, but we're nowhere close to fighting that dude. And then we need six of that. I'm getting sidetracked, but we're getting sidetracked in a good way. So we're gonna do that. That's fine. So the way this thing works is if we shoot mana into this bad boy here, it actually auto spreads. Hopefully that makes sense. So we want the mana pool to absorb all of the goodness. Okay. And we're gonna do the same for you. You have a lot more mana in you. Boom. So if we put a mana spreader pointing straight at this center, it should spread out across and get us some, some uh, mana. So this is four. It takes a half a pool to make one terra stool tool. <laughs> a half a mana pool makes one terra steel. So one full mana pool will make a total of two times four. That'll be eight, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, which it really isn't. <laughs> but we should be fine. I'm gonna jack all these things. I'm gonna chuck you in there. I'm going to actually break all these things. Yeah. I'm gonna break it all down. Oh, we need to get our tablet. And I told you from last time, we, we're going to be moving this stuff, so none of this is going to be in the permanent homes. So if we did this, and we had two more sparks, they're close enough to that, and it'll just pour straight from all those things. So if we grab a mana spreader, um, we can actually do something silly like this, and we'll get rid of you. And 
tell you to shoot straight down in there. Perfect. And I'm thinking we do eight endo flames each. So one, two, three, four. Four of those. And you notice that these are auto linked to that one. Okay. Now we'll put that there. Grab you. Cool. So for now we'll just so six, seven, eight. We'll do nine each. Just to keep it kind of even. And then we do open crate. Hopper. Stone, stone, stone. I believe this is how I had it set up. And then a redstone repeater. And then we do that. And this should work. Looks like it's working. And we hold this. We should see. Yep. Okay. Cool. And now all we have to do is rinse and repeat that whole setup. And then we just have to figure out a way to keep that going. I mean, we have tons of this. Um, so I am probably going to take a cut here. Let me go to town crafting up a bunch of stuff. I'm going to craft up a bunch of those endo flames. And we're going to make one more complete setup of this right next to it. That will give us access to 16 ingots when they're all full. Which may not sound like a whole bunch, that, but that's actually a booty load. And again, I'm not going too crazy with the Batania because we did this in Dire Wolf. And I'm pretty sure y'all kind of tired of me playing with Batania. It's one of my favorite mods. <laughs> I think I always say that too. So yeah, let me take a cut here and I will be right back. So see y'all in a second. All right guys, we are back and I was busy making stuffs for those. And then spreader, okay. So I want this here. Now I may change this one out so it matches that one. I have an idea of what I want to do for that, but for now that's good. Um, as for flowers, I crafted all the ones we were going to need. Um, this thing's going to eat through these now. But these also should be be seen by that one perfect and then if we slap you there perfect and then we do one two three four five six seven eight nine see these here we're gonna actually have to bind oh did I do that wrong Yeah, we're just going to have to bind these manually. It automatically detected that one for some reason. I don't know why. And to be honest with you, these may be close enough to this setup to eat up everything. So this is 18 of these freaking plants going, guys. 18. Um, I don't know if you knew this, but that's a lot of freaking plants. <laughs> So in one go, uh, this system is consuming tons. Oh, these are off kilted. You can't have off off tilted stuff. Oh, I did it again. Let's do that. Let's make sure you guys are, which they are, perfect, perfect. And then 
The only bad thing is they're even, so this is not going to be perfect. So we're going to drop an open crate. Just set this up, but we're moving it again. So each go around, this thing is consuming a lot of freaking coal, guys. Like a lot. We're we're not even joking. This is this is next game in here, man. This is next in game. So even though I know I have a lot of coal, we're probably gonna burn through a lot. Let's just throw you back in there. That's fine. So we should see all of the mana being produced. I don't think I ever went this crazy with endo flames in my life. To be honest with you. And then for certain items like this, what I was thinking, like this is off kiltered, so I might just move this over and over. Do that off camera, of course. And then I'm thinking putting this here. And we'll get rid of that so I can see under. And what I'm thinking is mana spreader, mana spreader from maybe from like these two or something. And have them pointing into a mana uh, pool under here. Shooting straight up to here. So this one has two mana pools worth of mana going to it. And I think that would probably do it. Then we would probably just put some dominant sparks on these bad boys to keep those full. And then all these have to have sparks. And that's a lot of freaking blaze powder. I don't even think I can make that much, to be honest with you. Because I have enough for one mana pool. <laughs> uh, is that going to be enough? No, I kind of want all of the mana pools. Because I want to be a little greedy, but not as greedy as I was in Dire Wolf Pack. But if you remember, we kind of like didn't need mana after a while anyway, so why not? So we're going to just craft a bunch of that. I need some petals. And let me do a little bit of Eddington here, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So see y'all in a second. what I need to be done done looks like we're gonna need more chests soon too but what I'm trying to do is actually make some of you you just need to probably and then one of these needs to be a gold. For now, we know I, I got plans to upgrade the whole system and network and everything. But what I'm thinking is maybe the actually let's put the iron one down here and we'll put the Patania stuff in here for now. 
because that chest is pretty full over there. Just so I can kind of keep my inventories kind of neat and organized. And what I want to do is put this up here. Fill that bad boy up with some coal. That way it burns longer. And I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to have to process some of these honeycombs we have. But for now, we should be okay. Yeah. That should be good. We should get lots and lots of mana, which means we can take a break for a couple episodes from Batania. And let this work in the background. We're going to use it probably next episode, just so you know. Um, other than that... That's going to do it for today. We have the ultimate mana generation that I, I didn't think we was going to do this. But it looks pretty freaking sweet. Oh, yeah. I got to show you the underground. But hopefully you guys have a great day ahead of y'all. Or had a great day. I don't know when you guys watch it usually. But here's the system I was talking about. So I'm actually taking from the two mana pools in the center. Shooting them down into these two mana pools, and then these two shoot it over into this mana pool. And what's going to happen is these are going to get full, this is going to get full, and if we craft a whole bunch of here, it'll just pull from these two, and then vice versa, it work in a little assembly line type thing. Now, we should be able to craft runes and stuff a lot quicker, because we have this elven mana spreader. They work the fastest, and in my opinion, are pretty powerful. Until you get to the, the next tier stuff. But for now, that's all we need. So that's going to be working in the background. I will catch you on the next episode. And until then, guys, make sure you stay safe out there. Peace out.